normally we think expressions are to express or to communicate, and we had wondered if they had some other origin. We tested another idea, is that facial expressions originated not to communicate, but actually to change the way the person perceives the environment. We begin the experiment by testing the acuity and sensitivity of the eye when people are in a relaxed expression. And then we follow that by examining the effects of fear expression, widening the eyes on enhancing the sensitivity of the eye. And then we look at the effect of the narrowing of the eyes and disgust in enhancing the acuity of the eye. What we found is during fear, with the opening or the widening of the eyes, this enhanced the ability for their eyes to pick up on information at low light levels. By contrast, when people made disgust expressions, which narrowed the eye, this impaired sensitivity, but enhanced the ability to see things at a finer scale, the acuity of vision. It's not just about the opening or closing of the eyes. It's about how the center of your eye, the fovea, becomes more sensitive to visual information. So fear and disgust had opposing effects on how the visual system operates. The way that you feel is filtering the way we perceive. So we tend to think of perception as something about reality, but in fact emotions at the very first stage are shaping what we tend to perceive.